What's going on people? We welcome you to the God of and it is time for evolution. So in today's video, we're going to be speaking about the value of you know, creating new memories for uh, growing a skill set or building uh, self-confidence, etc. So you don't need to think too much. What's required is to become consistent, to install a new program in your mind to obtain you know, new memories. So, for example, growing up, if you're a shy person and you aren't a, you know, a socially confident person, uh, the person may have, you know, consistent memories of them having low self-esteem or being shy. And that person hasn't created uh, more memories, hasn't created alternative memories, like more beneficial memories for them to have a reference point of confidence. So they'll have to overwrite years of memories of not uh, being able to speak up or getting bullied or getting uh, walked all over on. You know, basically experiences that, that facilitate the low self-esteem within that person. And so for a new start, many folks tend to move out of their hometown or make new friends because, uh, you know, for character growth, you know, you're bound by, you're bound to outgrow your old friendships, for example. You know, so for example, if you've had uh, many friendships in which it was one-sided and it was all about them, uh, you could have spent your entire lifetime, or that that section of your life, uh, thinking that it was normal for a friendship to be, you know, one-sided. You know, and if you get away from them or get away from that experience, and you experience new people that are, that are coming into your life, you may start to find out that wow, this wasn't normal after all. And so for a, new, uh, for a new start, many folks tend to move out of their hometown and uh, they start to outgrow their, their old friends and start to make new friends, you know. And the reason why, they're, why that's, that, that also helps is because it won't help to reinforce your past self because you get a, a new, new face, new people to look at you in a new light as opposed to keep reminding you of how you once were. So let's say, for example... Uh, you used to be uh, slinging dope on the street corner, you know, selling drugs on the street corner, you know, and you used to have friends that you, that also did the same thing, but then you expanded in your uh, awareness of life, you opened up to new uh, avenues, new possibilities, new opportunities came, you, were, you start to have a change of mind, a change of mindset, you want to start to make an impact on the world in a positive way, and now you want to just leave that street life, you want to like chill with the drugs. And whatnot. But you still have friends there. You still they still love there, but it's nothing personal. You just found something else that would work for you. And, you know, sometimes those friends will want to kind of will, will want to just drag you back into it. You know, but uh, you just gotta stay focused and just distance yourself. You know, they, they, they're too different now. And so, how does this apply to drawing? You know, our our thoughts and the people around us and can contain uh, memories that reinforce and shape our character and skill sets that we uh, obtain. So, you know, many people in our society are ashamed to make mistakes. You know, you draw so much, you make mistakes and you know what's, you know, incorrect versus what's, uh, you know, what's correct. So there's a lot that goes into drawing. And so like every day for, you know, 30 minutes or an, an hour, you know, draw a, for example, draw a realistic uh, arm for a month and then slowly graduate to other parts of the anatomy after that month and so the trick the trick is to keep reminding yourself uh the trick is to keep you know, reminding yourself you know every day what the that, that anatomy part looks like by drawing those you know anatomical parts so after you fully study the arm move on to you know other parts of the anatomy and then take your time you know and, and go at your own pace you know uh, just, yeah, take your time, go at your own pace, don't rush the process, don't overburn yourself, you know, don't don't burn yourself out, you know, just chill out, practice, be consistent, consistency is what's, is what's important, keep uh, referencing, keep uh, keep reinforcing that memory, you know, the consistency is what's, what's important, it's like working out a muscle, you know, uh, you, you wanna, you wanna, you know, when, you, when you're working out, you know, don't just work out for a week, and like take a, a month break that's not it's like it's not gonna work like that. you gotta you gotta you know keep doing it. even if, even if you're doing it for an hour or 30 or 30 minutes of, of the day you know you know just keep keep on doing it. and you know some people just watch you know so they, they watch a television show for 30 minutes you know you, you got you got time for 30 minutes or 
and you know you can also do this by you can also uh, practice you know backgrounds with this method you know practice looking at uh, spotting vanishing points in real life you know when you're when you're on the bus or you know when you're walking around or you're going shopping you're going grocery shopping you know look look for a vanishing point somewhere study study humans you know look at someone's anatomy and so don't let you know people gas you up and don't let don't don't gas your own self up be honest and realistic with with yourself you know to critique your own work you know and this isn't about our style it's about realism at first and once the real the, the realism is taken care of you can start to become uh, stylistic and you know the, the, and, and our stylization uh, that sets you apart from other artists and, and stylization uh, it, it's more memorable when you when you're when you're looking into uh, stylization you know this is why simple simple character designs are more memorable so let's say for example uh, Shin, Shin Chan the series Shin, uh, the series uh, Shin Chan and, and Family Guy and so uh, you can see that they're they're more so uh, stylistic However, you know, there, there's not much realism there, but it's, it's, it's stylistic, it's more memorable. People will remember these designs, you know. Now, for the, the example of Jojo and uh, Jojo Bazaar Adventure and, uh, and Dr. Stone, you can see that there's realism there, but at the same time, although there's realism, these styles do not look the same. You know, there's just, there's, there's, a, there's a balance of stylization and there's a balance of realism to combine it into to make it the, to make it their own thing. So, if you, if you're lacking in the real, uh, if you're if you're looking to to you know make comics like this or graphic novels like this, you'll you'll want to have uh, an understanding of realism. You know, don't deny the realism and just focus on finding your style. You have to do the realism first, then the style will come later. And and both and both uh, realism and stylization are important. It's like it's like the yin and yang. You know, there's a balance between the two. You know, and don't think that one is better than the other because you know if you think that then it's, it's game over for you. You know, you, you never wanna you never wanna be absolute in in one or the other. You know, be open to you know various different uh, various different things. And so you would want to get to a point where you're able to confidently, confidently uh, teach these drawing concepts. And negative comments won't affect you because you already have you, you get, you've done this, the, the the studies. You have the skills to, to see it, you know. So you know, just program yourself with more beneficial memories. The the more uh, the more desired memories that you have, the more uh, reference material to help shape your your self development, your self esteem, and your skill sets. You know, it's about memories and. and constantly reinforcing those memories you know so for computers we, we can delete software that that doesn't help the, the machine you know so we can have our computer you know run faster but for humans there's no recycling bin to delete memories you know we can't just uh, uh, it doesn't work like a computer pretty much so we must you know form new new memories and at first it's hard because um, the anxiety and the, and the difficulty comes when old memories are in competition with your new memories and and that and the new memories are, the, are like the memories that you're creating for yourself you know and so this is why like meditation is important and, and, and it gets you to a point where you don't have to you know you're not overstimulating your analytical head and your your focus on the present moment you know old memories aren't creeping up or you know you're not thinking about the future you're more so present in what you want to you know gain and so furthermore the, the easy part is daily practice the hard part is getting rid of your negative self-talk uh, you know just getting out of your own way you know a lot of uh, negative self-talk may come from you know family or so-called friends that may get a sense of insecurity or jealousy when they see you growing and, and then maybe hidden in the form of jest or joke because you know there is some truth in jest as well so you know belittling another person's ideas or worldview says a lot about you know that other person so you know now is the time to just you know stay away from those people and you know it's better it's better much better to be alone than with fake people so you know 
get away with people get away from people that feed on that low self-esteem so that you can grow and become the butterfly that you were meant to be all right so that'll be the video thank you guys for watching uh, and yeah peace